International Center for Islamic Culture and Education, ICICE, was established purposely in order to be a kind of uh, dissemination authentic Islamic religion and education to the Ummah. And for us to do that, we know it is going to be a very big and huge task. We need to have some pillars in place for us to achieve what we want to achieve as a goal for the establishing the ICICE. Now, and that is actually what takes us to do some other arms that you mentioned, like ICICE care. That is actually the basic mission for that. The ICICE, completely the umbrella, is a non-governmental, non-profit organization. And as I said, ICICE care is one of the pillars, the directorate that has been established under this particular umbrella. Now, to start with, let's say, We've started the productions of uh, the ICICE. I mean, we started the, the activities of the ICICE with the masjid because we realized that for us to achieve exactly what we want to achieve as a goal of establishing the center, we need to have at least a masjid which is going to attract many people irrespective of their sect so that they can have a brotherly place where they can come and worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now it has to be like a standard and a very well kept masjid and that is what we've started doing at least to attract these people to attract people. And Alhamdulillah Kasiran, so far when we established the masjid, we established it actually to accommodate up to about three thousand to four thousand worshippers, both male and female. But as I'm talking to you, five years ago from the time we established it we are now accommodating about 6,000, 7,000 worshippers on daily basis, especially during Ramadan time like this where we are at the moment. Alhamdulillah, Kasiran, it is an institution, I mean the masjid actually itself, it is an, uh, a facility that we have that also disseminate periodic lectures that we do on every day, evening days evening lectures that we do after Maghrib to Isha in order to, to, to brighten our, our Ummah for what they're supposed to do in line with the religion. And at times we also use the Masjid in order to attract so many international speakers, likes of uh, Zakir Naik, like uh, uh, Ismail Menk, like Bilal Phillips, they were all at the Masjid um, giving l different lectures at different times. So Alhamdulillah that is what part of the disseminating the authentic education we've started to do and that is with respect to the masjid. But after we've, st we've uh, established the masjid and we reach certain level of achievement, we realize that we need to also go further bit by bit in order to also go directly into school because school is also going to be one of the pillars that are going to disseminate the authentic knowledge of Islamic religion and therefore we establish a uh, tahfiz school for children in order to catch them young for them to know exactly our religion authentically and therefore we have the tahfiz school for children so far as i'm talking to you we have about 300 students that are learning quran and other uh, arabic language there we also have adult class adult people that are parents for male and female, they also have class. We also have about 250, 300 people that are also attending uh, adult Arabic learning language in the institute. That is the second bit of the bit of the arm that we have for the ICICE. And after that, we also decided to go further because we know when we have, we know that when we have this kind of uh, pillars, definitely we need to have. We can just disseminate uh, education to empty stomachs, for instance. Therefore, we said we need to create ICICE care in order to give at least humanitarian activities to the Ummah, irrespective of where they are, as long as it is within the country. And therefore, we establish the ICICE care. For what? So for just to take care of the less privileged member of the society, the IDPs, 
and some other things that may be in a great need of assistance and that's where we establish it now since i've already mentioned the achievement we did with respect to masjid as well as with respect to the school that we established it is also obligatory on me to also mention the achievement we have with respect to icice care when we started the icice care we've decided to say let's feed at least during ramadan period to feed people like 1,000 people on, on daily basis during Ramadan until end of the Ramadan. Alhamdulillah, we maintain doing that for the past five years. This is our fifth year. And as I'm talking to you, the, the 1,000 we are feeding is actually too small at the moment. So we are having people that are coming of about 1,300 that we are feeding on daily basis for the iftar uh, of Ramadan. And then because we call ourselves care, we need to take care of the IDPs. Uh, and therefore, we also sent relief materials to IDPs and also as, we are, as I'm talking to you now, we also have a program that we are doing with One Oma and other organizations like uh, CEDA to relocate and resettle some of the IDPs from the camp where they are to their respective villages. So far, we started with a village in Kondoga local government of Maiduguri called Malari. That is what we are doing currently to do about 150 houses to reconstruct the houses for these returnee IDPs at the moment. And that is exactly what we are doing with respect to ICICE care. So as I'm talking to you, we have at least three pillars of the ICICE, the masjid, the school which is doing the tahafis and the icic care of course we have other plan in order to continue growing as we are go as we are going inshallah rabbi now uh, it's <coughs> obvious that we cannot do enough we can we only continue to struggle mm. but what is your appeal to other people because we see a lot of people that okay i can't go it's for the big people because me I don't have money. <coughs> eh? Whereas in prisons there is need, in hospital, ordinary visitation, and all those kind of things. What kind of message do you have for the Ummah? So key either into what you people are doing as ICIC care or to use the platform of their own local community to just make sure the impact on lives. MashaAllah Rabbi, uh, what we are doing actually is the entire ICICE, we put it as a platform, a platform that individuals and organizations can key in to do things that they cannot do personally, for instance. And as I mentioned to you, yes, we are contributing as trustees and as uh, people that are stakeholders in the ICICE are contributing both in kind and in cash in order to make sure that it is running perfectly and it is kept as a standard that we set. But however, there are other organizations, there are other institutions that are also bringing contributions because they cannot take their old cloth, they cannot take their sack of rice and some other things to IDP. And because we are a platform, they bring all these things to ICICE care and ICICE care will collate, registered and then deliver it to respective camp that we identify gradually. As I mentioned, my Duguri Yobe, uh, Adamawa, Bauchi, and here in Abuja, we all delivered the relief material to IDP. And these relief materials are cash and kind given by individuals and organizations that want this cash and kind to be delivered to IDP and some other things actually. So the entire ICIC is just a platform, a platform that any Islam is any Muslim or Islamic organizations can key in in order to make impact, make difference to the less privileged as well as some other things that we are doing in one way or another for the Ummah. Advice generally. Alhamdulillah, Kasiran, it is actually a very big task, a very big project that we've decided to bring. We have future plans that we want to do all for the benefit of the Ummah. Like for instance, we want to, we want to provide a work for the Ummah, for the less privileged in order to take care of their at least petty trading. Some of our people are having petty trading. We also have some other things we are trying to do with respect to the We cannot all do this thing alone. There is it is a facility that we want it to outlive us 
in a standard that is set at the moment or even better standard that we are having had at the moment for the future generation of the ummah therefore for us to keep it alive we need to really have maintenance culture maintenance culture in that particular facility is very huge uh, the stakeholders the promoters and sponsored of the icic are doing their very best the institutions like the academic that has been established there, the tafis that has been established there, and some other commercial ventures are also contributing to take care of the masjid and some other things that are needed. For instance, the facility managers need, has a lot of uh, fund that we need to pay on a monthly basis. The facility management uh, activities, the generator that is very huge that is consuming diesel, all these ones are taking a lot of money. And of course, the promoters, as I said, are doing their best. If people are interested, they can come on board and say they can take care of anything to do with generator. I can take care of anything to do with security outfit there. I can take care of anything to do with facility managers. They are all welcome to do that. And because we put it just for the entire Ummah, it's not actually for, for us alone. It's for the entire Ummah. So anybody who wants to have a reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in one way or another, and he thinks he cannot just do it directly in terms of feeding or providing old cloth to some people that are needy, he can come to ICIC and do it. And we are also trying to set it as a precedence for other Muslim brothers to also set similar institutions in their respective localities or even in Abuja in order to widen our scope and benefit the entire Ummah generally, inshallah, Rabbi. Thank you very much, sir. It's been nice sharing your thoughts with us. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Anzal.